Hey, it's Chimbeard here, and now that Dragon Con is over, I actually have a little more time to crank out some personal projects that I've been uh, meaning to get to. This right here is another kit that I got from another prop maker, much like the Judge Dread helmet that I've been working on, and which will be finished soon, as soon as I get a visor for it. This is a blank, unpainted, unfinished kit that was uh, purchased from a different prop maker. This particular one is the Skyrim Steel Axe made by my friend and prop maker Harrison Cricks over at Vulpin Props. In fact, this one is available for purchase on his website and there will be a link below so you can go get your own and follow along. Now, the kit comes with all of just the basic pieces of the axe and there are a couple of other things that you need to finish it up. For example, this is a 3 8 inch threaded steel rod and it will be used to connect the headpiece to the handle so that it's nice and sturdy. I also went and got some leather from a leather store here in Seattle, but if you're uh, looking around, there's a place called Tandy. You might want to look them up. And often you can find a scrap bin where they sell it by the weight. That's where I got this. And I only need a very little bit to cover just the handle part there. So I didn't need to go get a whole half of a cow. I also have a couple of leather dyes in case I want to color this and some hemp and some nylon and different colors of string to stitch up the leather on the handle once it has been assembled. Other than that, uh, we are ready to get started putting this thing together. The first thing you want to do is remove these uh, sprues. These are part of the casting process for pouring. So this got poured like so and the resin filled up like that. I use my scroll saw because it's what I've got, but if you have a hand saw of any type, it will work too. All of these pieces here need to get uh, the sprues removed there before they are ready for assembly. Once your pieces are ready to go, you want to go in with some sandpaper and remove the seams. For this piece here, I would probably just use some of this, just like a 220 grit to uh, get the edges off and then maybe a higher grit to really smooth it out before it's ready for paint. The metal parts of this axe are a different story. This was actually cold cast with aluminum powder. That means you can buff it and bring out a real metallic shine from it, but it also means that you can't just sand down the seams because then you'll remove that metallic outer layer. Since this is such a well-made kit, the seam is really, really small, and all you really need to do is buff it down with a little bit of double zero or triple zero steel wool. While you're at it, you can use the steel wool to buff the rest of the metallic pieces. You wanna be careful here, obviously, if you go really crazy, you'll chew through that outer layer of uh, metallic powder. But what this does is actually bring out the metallic shine. What that means is you don't have to paint this. The, the metal parts are all actually kind of metal and you just have to buff and shine them like it was an actual metal piece. With all the seams cleaned up and your pieces all nice and trimmed and ready to go, then it is time for assembly. And that is exactly what we will do in the next part of this video series. So stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see how this thing comes together.